In this video, I'm going to show you several different wrist tape jobs. I'm going to start with the least supportive and work up to the max supportive. Make sure that you use it based on your need. From here, you can use pre-wrap to help provide protection to your skin and hair. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a hold of the pre-wrap, however you want to start it. And all I'm going to do is go around two to three times to provide to provide a protective layer. Now this little bit right there that I was holding on to, all I need to do is tear that off or fold it down. For this tape job, I kind of want to come up to this natural barrier where my thumb starts. From here, you're going to take your roll of tape, start right here, and then I'm going to go around. So I like to try to cover an area that's about one and a half to two times the width of the tape. From here, all I wanna do is tear and press down. So as you notice, I have more motion on my untaped wrist, but my taped wrist is more stable. With all of these tape jobs, I wanna make sure that I still have good capillary refill. So squeeze the nail, and when you release, the color should come back. The next level of tape job is going to be very similar, but now we're gonna go through the hand. So, once again, I'm going to take my pre-wrap, I'm going to grab it, and I'm going to come around the wrist, through the hand. Around the wrist, through the hand. Now, I'm going to go a couple extra around the wrist to provide for a wider base. Now, I'm going to take my tape. I can start it wherever I want, so I'm going to start it just like I did on the other one on top of my wrist here. I'm going to come around once to form an anchor. Then I'm going to start to work my way up the hand. So that way as I come underneath, I'm on the outside. And I'm going to come through and back down. So now I flip over so you can see what it looks like. So my angle is telling me to come around the wrist one more time. Now I'm going to come up, around, and down. So if you want to get quick and dirty with it, you don't have to go around the wrist, but you want to make sure that you're getting good coverage. Tear the tape, press it down. Now, even less motion allowed. Now, as you can see, I crossed right here on the front of the hand. That's going to prevent more extension. If I focused that around to the back, it will prevent more flexion. This is the more common uh, support that you need because a lot of times wrist extension injuries uh, happen when you're weightlifting. From there, I'm actually going to use this as a base for my last one. So if you're going to do the wrist tape job with a fan, first you do this, then you're going to make a fan that I already had prepared with tape. So as you can see, it's three pieces, one down the middle, and then crossing right there. If I'm trying to prevent that extension, I'm going to first do this, then I'm going to lay this down, and I'm going to have my wrist in a slightly flexed position. I'm going to lay this down from palm to wrist, pull in just a little bit of tension. Then I'm going to start my tape, not like that. I'm going to start my tape. <clears throat> come around. As I come down, I want to make sure that this stays laid. Come around here and pin that down. Up, around, down. Now, as you can see, I've got these little tails hanging out down here. That's not a big deal. I can just cover them up and then tear. So now I've got even less, less wrist extension. So that's gonna be for people that need to really stabilize um, or are lifting heavier things. Once again, make sure you're checking cap refill and make sure that you're not restricting your knuckles too much. So you wanna still be able to make a full fist. If you have any questions or if you're having wrist pain, please don't hesitate to reach out to a RIP team member.